Sorry, go on. Yeah, so with so. this lens, okay. it has it's a 15 to 120 no, on a Super 35 mm sensor. That's what uh, you'll find a Jemmy designed for with these kind of servo lenses. But we have this extender in here. You'll see this block on the back, okay. and you'll see that it has up to 1.5 times extension on it. So when I flip this, if you look at the screen, you'll see that I go in by 1.5 times. So what that now does is multiply 1.5 by 15 to 120, it gives you a 22.5 to 180 mil equivalent on a Super 35. But because of physics, when we put this magnifier that's in the block here on there, this will now also cover a full frame sensor. So in, with full frame, I now have a 22.5 to 180 on a full frame sensor. So it's a very flexible lens. They call them workhorse lenses because they can cover up both a full frame camera and a Super 35 mil camera. Or on a Super 35, we can do the, the further extension of going out to 180 versus 120. And of course, with this as well, I'm just gonna turn the camera around. It's a fully servo lens. So you can see here we have the servo drive and you might see I've got my follow focus, nice. sorry, follow focus Last and my zoom demand here. So of course, I can actually drive the lens from these here. So a very broadcast orientated for a camera operator using it. Nice. But what we've done with this as well, just so you know, in this scenario that we have here, you might see we have our PTZ cameras and other cameras around. Oh yeah. Up here. We, these are all now communicating and being able to be controlled by this controller here. Right. So I can even control the zoom on this via that controller. Right. Oh, brilliant. So it's a very that's, flexible solution. That's really good. Yeah. Nice. So um, yeah, that's kind of overview of the lens. Right. So the expansion pack that's on here is our, our expansion pack EV3. So this has been designed with broadcast in mind. Okay. And it's very much, I'm just going to tilt this because it's showing the, the, the connections. So the key thing here is we have a lens control. We have a power output as you'd expect, but this is the key thing here. It has a return demand on it so this one here if I press the screen let me just show you my apologies for being a bit flippy I'm just going to put this in the right way when I press this here we set it this here will show me the next the preview screen of the next camera so I'm looking at another camera there. I'm pressing this so if I was uh, at an event and we had a control desk and we had camera operators, I would be able to see what the other camera operator is doing and vice versa and we can put through. So this has got this return mechanism or this return cable that allows us to have a better syncing with other cameras that are all shooting us and I can see with them. And of course it has the ethernet. So that's the ethernet that's actually making it communicate to the controller as well. So I can actually draw it Okay, so is that what? Sorry, so is that what this? That module is. is. This okay. is a different unit. This is not Canon unit here. Okay. So this is a. It's not even connected. But what this is, it's a cam racer uh, device. And what, if we were using this correctly, I'm just going to move the headset out of the way for a second. So apologies for faffing around. Uh, no worries. I could have all the cables in here would go into the cables here. So I'd set them up via here right. and then one cable fiber optic out I could go to my control desk so I wouldn't have multiple cables coming out from it so this is like a, a, a simple system that will allow me to connect everything here we'll have one cable go back to the control more than having multiple cables going back to control that's what that is, and then of course we just have a battery on the back of the female battery. Yeah. So this is a non-canon anyhow. The, everything else from here is canon, but this is not. Right. But we okay. put it on here just to kind of show kind of third-party solutions that are out there. And right. as you can see, you have your audio, your headset, so communicating with the control desk and other camera guys that it might be around on the network. Okay. So yeah. Brilliant. So that's what that all is. So this is kind of a, a proper setup for. Just a broadcast. Broadcasting. It doesn't matter if you're broadcasting or putting stuff online or if it's for TV. Nice. Brilliant. So, all, so I think, like, just correct me if I'm wrong. No problem. Like, we same for like, um, even though obviously this is the uh, Canon C300, uh, that's a C500. Too, yeah. So, all of this is that's all for the exactly C300 Mark III. 
they, 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 okay. We're a modular camera system, so right. our both cinema cameras, the 303 and the 502, yeah. the only difference between them is, is one's full frame, one's Super 35. Right. That's the physicality of what's different inside. Right. And of course, spec that it's a 5.9K camera right. versus a 4K camera right. and so on. But everything on the outputs and being able to adapt mm. is exactly the same. Right, okay, that's good to know. It's, I want, that's, that's the question I had yeah. in terms of the differences. I could put a C303 here and have everything working the same way. Right, that's good. Okay, brilliant.